Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the channel and uh, sorry I've been a uh, little tied up with a few things for the last few days and uh, I'm doing a, a session on, uh, on uh, the 50 must know questions and this is the second uh, of, of that, uh, of that uh, series and uh, this is the second, uh, second question in that series and I've marked the two stars for that reason. So the question is, uh, uh, this is from a CAT 2019 question. And I've taken a screen grab from my, from my book, uh, the previous year papers for CAT, uh, which is uh, from McGraw-Hill available on Amazon, etc. So the question is, the product of the distinct roots of x square minus mod x square minus x minus 6 is, is equal to x plus 2 is. So I, I, as I've told you, uh, I'm, I'm starting this series with the theme of block, block 5 first, which is the algebra part first, because that's something that you always come to at the last when you start from arithmetic, etc. So this is an interesting question because it tests uh, similar things that the first question uh, tested you for. It tests whether you are able to uh, to to open the bracket, open the mods, etc. Do you understand? Uh, it also tests uh, do you understand functions and equations and the relationship between the two, right? So so how do you how do you handle this question? So uh, the question says uh, let let's put down the question uh, on our screen here uh, on the on the blank sheet. Uh, the question says, uh, we are talking about the roots of the equation and we are talking about the product of the distinct roots of the equation x square minus x minus 6 mod is equal to x plus 2. And when you are solving this, you are playing for 3 marks in the CAT 19 paper. Uh, 20 questions like this, you would get 60 marks out of, out of 100, out of 102 and you would, you would kind of get a, a 99 plus percentile in quants and would be on, the, on your way to get a 99 plus overall also. So we are looking at the product of the distinct roots of this. So first of all, the basic principle of opening, opening the brackets in this case. And, and if you see this question, you would realize that inside this question, um, uh, the, the algebraic way is what, what you will have to go through. You cannot really go through a numerical way. If they had asked you what is the root of this, you could just pick up the options and put it there and see whether the left hand side and right hand side are equal or not. But, uh, but in this case, uh, you have to solve this for the purpose or for the, uh, for the purpose of, uh, I mean, uh, for the purpose of getting the roots, because only once you get the distinct roots can you find the product of the roots. So that is something that is going to be important for you here to, to be able to do that. So when you look at this question, uh, uh, the, the starting point in this question is of course to open the, open the modulus. And as you know, modulus opening a basic principle hota hai ki if Inside the modulus, you got positive or zero. Then the modulus opens. The modulus just disappears. The expression just comes as it is. So we we start with this with this thought, and this is a three to four step question. And if you can execute those four steps correctly, you get those three marks in the exam. So your first step here is to 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 think that if if the inside the modulus is greater than or equal to zero. If inside the modulus is greater than or equal to zero, what do you do? So inside the modulus is greater than or equal to 0 means in that case uh, your expression opens up as x square minus x minus 6 is equal to x plus 2. Parallelly you also realize right at this point you can you can actually you might not want to write that at this point but parallelly you realize that if inside the modulus you got a negative value inside the modulus you got a negative value which basically means that x square minus x minus 6 is negative then in that case the modulus will open as with with a minus uh, multiplier on the entire expression so the modulus opens as minus x square minus plus x plus 6 is equal to x plus 2 so when when the modulus is greater than or equal to 0 you you have to solve this equation to get the roots when the modulus is less than 0 you have to solve this equation to get the roots i hope i got the uh, the signs correct minus x square plus x plus plus x right so so of course you have to solve both these uh, both these separately but before you solve this you have to understand ki, uh, under what conditions does x square minus x minus 6 become positive so uske liye, uh, uh, we, we of course know the uh, the processes of how to how to find out uh, the roots of a quality equation x square what was that equation x square minus x minus 6 yeah so when does x square minus x minus x become greater than or equal to 0? 
when does this expression become greater than or equal to zero? You obviously know the process, but but what uh, you have to do if you're trying to compete against the top guys in, in an exam, exam like this, the top guys are able to do this in, in fractions of seconds. And how you do that is you should realize that uh, a few principles about factorizing quadratic equations or quadratic functions, when you uh, when, when, when a factorization of the middle term is possible or when a breakup of the middle term is possible. The principles involved, for example, if I use those principles here, I will see that I want to split this as minus 3x plus 2x, which will give me roots of plus 3 and minus 2. That's the immediate reaction that somebody who's known and trained on this gets. But, but if, I, if, I, if I go, go through uh, this discussion, uh, because uh, it's, it's part of the discussion that you should have or the part of the knowledge you should have about quadratic equations. Uh, typically, when you, when, you, when you factorize quadratic equations, in situations where you, you are able to see integer values of breaking the middle term, let's, let's take a simple structure. x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to uh, 0 kind of thing. So in this case, mein, you basically have to, have to create this product using two parts of plus 5x. And that's very easy to see that if you split it as 3x, 2x, you will get, <clears throat> if, you, if you split the middle term as plus 3x plus 2x, you'll get the 6 at the end, and which, which basically means that the roots are minus 3, minus 2. You should not need to actually write the brackets there. Right? So if I have a, let's say for example, uh, x square plus 10x, plus 21, my immediate reaction should be 7x, 3x, and minus 7, minus 3. That's 3 seconds flat, rather than 30 seconds to 45 seconds to 1 minute that most people take to solve this. Right? What happens when the middle term is negative? What, what happens when you've got x square minus 10x plus 21? This was the solution for when, when both the middle term and the, uh, and the constant term were positive. The solution for both the middle term, middle term negative and, and, and uh, constant term positive is minus 7x minus 3x and that means the roots are 7, 3. That's the immediate, immediate reaction. You should be able to, able to split that way and I would, I would, if you're watching this or you're uh, watching this video, please, please go ahead and, and practice this. It will help your quality equation problem solving by cutting it short by around 30 to 40 seconds. What happens when the constant term is negative? When the constant term is negative, like it was in this case, let's say I've got a minus 15 here, right? And let's say the split of 15 that, that I'm using in this question is, min, my, is 5 and 3. So, so if I've got a minus 2x here, for example, x square minus 2x minus 15, my split in this case will be minus 5x and plus 3x, which means my roots will be 5 and minus 3. That should be a reaction. You, you need opposite signs of the split. In, 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 in this third case, this is the third case, this was the second case. In the second case and the first case, the split was on the same sign because you need the product to be positive. In the third case, you need the split to be opposite signs because you want the product to be negative. And uh, likewise, if it is x square plus 2x minus 15, again, the trigger is from here, the trigger is always in the constant term whether you want to take the split uh, in the same, uh, in the same uh, uh, with the same sign or you want to take the split with opposite signs. So when it's minus 15 here, you have to take plus, and, and it's plus 2x here, your split is plus 5x minus 3x. And after two steps, when you, when you organize the, uh, the, the brackets inside this, you're going to get a solution of minus 5 plus 3. So in a question like this, so once, once you uh, do, do a little bit of practice, so that this should become 3 seconds for you. Of course, where you need to uh, do the minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac to, to get the quadratic uh, equations uh, roots, where you want to do, where you need to do that formula, to pe to you, can't, you can't help it, you have to do that formula when the roots are irrational but, or when the roots are in decimals. But when the roots are, are integers, you should be able to, uh, to actually kill it with, with, uh, with, this, with this thought. So, so when, I, when I look at this, uh, this situation, for example, uh, I, I'm trying to think about when, when is this uh, modulus greater than zero. 
So I know that, that the roots of this, I mean, my, my triggers are, this is a minus. So I need opposite directions, opposite uh, sign, sign roots, opposite sign splitting of minus x. And 3 and 2 are the, uh, obviously the factors here. So that I'll get minus, minus x here. So I need minus 3x plus 2x. That's the, that's the split. And that's the immediate thought in, inside this. So when is this, uh, inside the modulus, this function or this expression, when is it positive? It's positive. It's roots, roots for this equation are plus 3 and minus 2. The roots of the equation are plus 3 and minus 2, which means the function x square minus x minus 6, because x square is, is positive, it will have a u-shaped graph. Its, uh, its values, it, it's basically positive after 3, at 0 at 3, and at 0 at minus 2, and positive on the left side of minus 2. And between minus 2 to 3, this function is, is, uh, is negative. So this is the first reaction that you have to have in this question. And this question is solved in three reactions, essentially. So your first reaction is, this reaction, whether you take 10 seconds, or you take 45 seconds, or one and a half, two minutes, that's, that depends on your practice. And that's where uh, the 100 percentiles beat, beat the other guys in, in the exam, uh, because they are, they are really good at, at reacting with this. So once you get that minus 2, 3, and you, you I mean, now this is a simple uh, 8 standard problem, 9 standard problem, that you just have to find the roots of this. And this x square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So again, same logic now. I want to split this. How should I split it? I will split it as minus 4x plus 2x. Again, because this, this is a negative sign. Please go back to the, to, the, uh, to the explanation I gave you of how you should visualize the split. So the roots are 4 minus 2. Again, if you have practiced what I told you, this is a 10 second reaction. If you have not practiced what I have told you, you will take 45 seconds to a minute, maybe even longer to get the roots of this. So 4 minus 2, I can confirm that at x equals 4 and x equals minus 2, my function is positive or 0. So both these roots will hold in this case. Now when I go to the other side, I am I'm looking at a, I, I need the, the function to be less than 0 which means I'm looking for roots between minus 2 to 3, not including minus 2 and plus 3. So when I, when I start looking at this, uh, of course, the x cancels out here. The x cancels out here. And once the x cancels out, uh, I have a, a simple equation which says x square is equal to 4, which gives me x is equal to plus 2 or minus 2. But minus 2 as, as a value of x does not satisfy the original condition. So this is an important part of these questions. Minus 2 as a value of x does not satisfy the original condition that the function inside the modulus is negative. And, and you have solved this part. You have made this equation of x square equals 4 on the premise that the, model, that the value inside the modulus or the expression inside the modulus was actually opening with a negative sign. So because you have solved that, and that, that is not true in this case, you will reject this root. So you have got three roots, 4, minus 2, and, and plus 2. Plus 2 you can check, at plus 2 the function will actually be negative and uh, because it, it, it starts becoming positive at 3, it becomes 0 at 3. So plus 2 will be a root on this side for, for the uh, mod, mod to be a negative value and hence since the three roots are 4, 2 and minus 2, the product of the roots will be minus 16 and uh, to, to wind up you can actually have a song on your lips and a flower in your head as you move to the next question. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.